I have Congressman Gates here, um, who's been working really hard for the people of Northwest Florida. And uh, I know as we get into this phase one and continue to move forward, uh, he's going to be there every step of the way supporting the people here. So I want to give him a chance to come up and say a few words. On March 29th, just about a month ago, a McClatchy reporter asked President Trump, how is it that the state of Florida seems to have fulfilled 100 percent of its requests for drawdowns from the national strategic stockpile. And President Trump was very candid. He said, look, Florida, they do a very good job. They're very aggressive at advocating for their people and for their positions. And Governor, in all the work we've done together, I've never been prouder than when the president acknowledges that our team working effectively to raise these concerns results in better care for our residents and our constituents. That work together has been bipartisan. Very early on in this process, the reason we're able to launch mobile sites today is because we got ahead of the game. And very early on in this process, I led a letter of the Florida congressional delegation that Republicans and Democrats signed on to that detailed out the specific things that would put us in a position to best respond to this crisis. And Governor, I was grateful that the Miami Herald was, uh, was uh, laudatory in their praise on the congressional delegation. But they criticized you, which was odd, because it was your administration that actually built the lists that we used to go and get the stuff from the federal government for our hospital systems and for our frontline providers. And in that light... Do you have any, any reason? Why, why would that be the case? I just can't imagine why that would well, be the and, case. Man, that's, we're going to have to get Inspector Clouseau out on that one. I, uh, I know you also feel a special kinship with our, our guardsmen and women uh, who are here today. I recall serving with you in the Congress, and while some of us would return home for vacation, as a consequence of your additional service to the country, you would go out and do drills. So I know you know the sacrifice they make uh, to be away from their families and uh, to be here uh, serving our constituents. Uh, one of, there are a few areas where the governor's work, the president's work, has aligned specifically to meet some needs in Northwest Florida, and I want to highlight those. Because we were able to get drawdowns on the front end, uh, I could tell you that uh, we had the CEO of Baptist Hospital able to get tests and swabs early, and he actually drove himself, Mark Faulkner did, over to Tallahassee uh, to the Emergency Operations Center where you had coordinated testing on the front end that allowed us to be in a good position. I serve on the President's task force with the head of Ascension Healthcare. That's a major provider in our community. Also uh, at the HCA systems that serve Okaloosa County, Twin Cities Hospital and Fort Walton Beach Medical Center, they were having challenges with their providers of testing equipment and reagents. And Governor, it was your office, it was the uh, Division of Emergency Management that got on the phone and actually created better connectivity so that the purchase orders of Northwest Florida hospitals would be met faster and that we got everything we need. And we were very successful in that. And then uh, I would also suggest that the offense that we're playing in nursing homes and in long-term care facilities is uniquely important to Northwest Floridians. I could tell you, Governor, any time we've had uh, even the concern, even the whiff of this virus in one of our long-term care facilities, your Department of Health has been there on time, on target. Uh, I had one facility in the Twin Cities area that had like three and four visits from the Department of Health for triple and quadruple redundancy to make sure that we were getting accurate test results. Uh, I would finally thank you for your work with our local law enforcement. Uh, we got concerns early on from our sheriffs, from our police chiefs, that uh, the, the uh, migration of folks from Louisiana over to Northwest Florida could create a hot spot here that we would have to deal with. And when uh, Sheriff Ashley of Okaloosa County called me to reflect on that concern, I immediately patched him into the governor. And in real time, the sheriff and the governor worked out the framework not only for a strong executive order, but for an enforcement regime that protected our people in Northwest Florida from that substantial potential risk. So uh, thank you for doing that as well. Uh, the governor and I met briefly uh, before, and there are a couple of issues in Northwest Florida uh, that we talked about. The first is uh, vacation rentals. In Northwest Florida, we don't have a 500 uh, key hotel room every thousand feet. Uh, because of our density that we have, we're, we're more reliant on vacation rentals. And I'm confident that in the governor's evidence-based measured approach, the same approach he took on the front end of this virus, 
that as soon as it is safe and appropriate uh, and we enter new phases, that the governor will work with our local communities to open vacation rentals. Here is my advice to our counties and to our cities. If there are particular areas of advice or, or uh, concern that you have, I would strongly encourage you to meet about those, discuss them in public, even pass resolutions regarding the conduct that you think our community is ready for. Throughout this entire process, uh, Governor DeSantis has leaned heavily on the expertise and on the local knowledge of our local leaders. Uh, I've been in contact with our mayor about not only the health conditions, but the economic conditions uh, that we want to make sure that we uh, really uh, bolster in the coming weeks and in the coming months. And I know uh, Mayor Robinson would always say it's good to have uh, a Navy guy like Governor DeSantis here in a, a great Navy town of Pensacola. So thank you for that great work, Governor. I know we've got a lot of essential uh, work ahead uh, on the President's task force for myself and with your task force, but we know that the brighter days for Florida are ahead of us.